and we have got we have a studio full of wonderful individuals that are serving our country or right. have served our country. And finally, all branches are getting along for a change. <laughs> You've agreed to get along at least for the next three hours. We appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Uh, meanwhile, uh, let's uh, introduce you to John James. You know him. He's a veteran. And he's currently running for the U.S. Senate from the beautiful state of Michigan. John, good to have you. Thanks for having me back on. Uh, veterans Day, what's it mean to you? Uh, veterans Day is the day we, where we remember uh, everyone who served. Uh, with its roots back at the turn of the, uh, the 19th century, uh, we remember uh, all the sacrifices that it took to get us to this point. And we best not forget those sacrifices because we're building on them for the future. And it's just such an honor for me to be here in the studio with my brothers and sisters in arms. Thank you for your service. It's an honor to call myself your brother. John, what branch? <laughs> Well, I graduated from West Point in 2004. Don't hold that against me. Um, graduated from West Point in 2004, became a Ranger, qualified Apache pilot, and flew 750 hours combat in Operation Iraqi Freedom. So go Army. Uh, yeah. Go Army. Go Army. So, so, John, a couple of things. You also made the transition. You made the transition from military man to businessman. Yes. And now you're going to, to politics. How hard was that transition? Well, the biggest reason that I, I went to serve the first time was to serve my country because I recognized that so many people fought and died for me to have the freedoms that I enjoyed. So I went and I fought and I served. But many of us who went to, uh, to Iraq, go to these combat zones, are disturbed by what, what we see. But I was in Iraq during the Great Recession back in Michigan. And Michigan was really, really hard hit. And so while I'm over in Iraq, I'm at the DFAC dining facility for everybody who does, is not familiar. But uh, we saw images uh, of my home, Detroit, Flint, Saginaw, Benton Harbor, uh, Marquette, areas of a home that look worse than the combat zone I was flying in. So I decided to come back home and whoa, start whoa, whoa. You said worse than where you were flying? In many in? cases, there are places in Detroit, places and home that look like third world countries. And that cannot be in the United States of America. We, are not, we don't have enough people who are as passionate about helping the least of these and uh, so I came back to join the family business because what people needed were jobs people needed the opportunity to excel and to live life the way that, that God uh, intended for us and the way our Constitution guaranteed so I joined the family business and helped grow it uh, and it's just an honor to be in a position to continue my service again to go to Washington serve my nation serve everybody and uh, and to uh, and to get back home when the time is right why do you think it's important for veterans to serve in Washington currently we have 96 total veterans in the Congress right now I, I think that uh, you know I, I took my uniform off but uh, I, I will never quit my uh, I, I truly feel a call to serve, a call to duty that I've felt since I was 17 years old. And uh, right now, I believe that uh, veterans uh, uh, still have that call. But too few of us have the means or the opportunity to continue our service. We need to change that. But I believe that having more veterans uh, in Congress, Absolutely. Uh, people who understand the difference between right and wrong, the difference between good and evil, people who can accomplish tough missions uh, uh, under any circumstance with anybody, regardless of party or, or political affiliation. They could use you there today, or somebody right. with that point of view. Absolutely. And, and you're running for the Senate. Yes, running for U.S. Senate, State of Michigan. All right. Thank you Thank very you, much. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you.